Democrats are saying that uh, you're trying to rewrite history about the auto bailout uh, by saying that you would have supported it. But no one has been able to find that position on record. In 2012, you were quoted as saying you supported uh, Mitt Romney's anti-bailout anti position. So where have you settled on the issue of the auto bailout? Well, I've always had the same position. The Democrats are wrong. Um, I felt it was important to support the auto industry. You know, I had a lot of support from the auto industry when I was Secretary of State. I worked very closely with the manufacturers and had support from thousands of auto workers in our great state. Um, I felt that it, like, uh, that it was important to maybe look at private financing. Um, when that was not available, uh, we had to do something rather than do nothing. Um, we need to protect our auto industry here in this great state. Um, as I mentioned, uh, Governor Granholm and Congressman Peters during those dark days of Michigan where we we lost 800,000 jobs. Uh, that did not work well for Michigan and Michigan's auto. And my opponent, Congressman Peters, he actually voted for a $500 million taxpayer loan to build cars overseas. The company went bankrupt. A Chinese company bought it. Let me tell you, that's not supporting Michigan auto industries. That was during the time of those dark days in Michigan. I would support using taxpayer dollars here in Michigan to build cars here in Michigan. Um, so that's where I am. I support the auto industry and it needs to grow. Uh, Detroit put America on wheels and we need to make sure we can do